Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and scent of the day. Today, Phoenix and Bow Citra Royale, one of my absolute favorite soaps. Uh, we got some snow last night, about four inches, so I need something fresh, um, a warm type, I mean a cool type scent um, to try and get over this. Litsea Cubeba, Lime and Cedar Wood are the notes. Uh, Litsea Cubeba, uh, Cubeba, I believe is a lemon, um, a lemon type note, lemon type scent, because um, what I get from it is lemon, lime, and cedar wood. It's really fresh, um, really wonderful scent. Brush today is my Samog Owners Club Boar Brush. Really great boar brush here. It takes a while to takes a while to break in, um, but once you do, really really nice boar knot. Shaver today, the Mula R41. If I only had one razor forever, only one that I could have this would be the one that I would choose. And there's a feather blade in there. Aftershave today, another one of my favorites. Really wonderful, sweet lemon scent, Agua de Limon by Mersal. And we're gonna finish it up. We're gonna stay with the freshies and we're going YSL Loam, which is um, lemon, bergamot, ginger. Really, really nice freshie. So I'm going to fight off this cold weather and all the snow. So I've had the puck soaking here. We're running awfully low on this, and they don't make it anymore, unfortunately. So hopefully this will come out as a, a special spring scent one time, spring or summer scent. So I'm going to get some of this water on my face. It's a really beautiful soap base. Plenty, plenty slick, very, um, very water thirsty, can take a ton of water, but it will reward you with wonderful slickness. So, <clears throat> bore not, just going to get a touch of water in it and get right into the puck. Hope everyone is healthy out there today. Hope no one is under the weather. Hope those that are quarantined, I hope you're not going crazy. I am off today. I worked this weekend, so this is my day off during the week. Just enjoying a day with my wife and my boys. My wife and my oldest are, do, are doing some schooling right now. The school's closed, so we're doing homeschooling. I can only thank God that we are both, that we both work in, um, in occupations that um, are able to keep going during this, during this virus epidemic. I know a lot of a lot of people out there are not working right now and I'm very sorry for that. I hope that everything works out for you guys. I am in the thick of it as I work in a hospital. Um, but I'm certainly happy to to have a job right now. Enough of that. I bought this beautiful lather real quick, and I'm still gonna get more water in here. But I mean, it's already it's this soap base is so easy to lather. Starts quick, but holds a lot of water. You can tailor it to how you like it. I like it as slick as possible. So I put in loads of water. I'm 
Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get that in. It's a nice drop. It's my sure sign that I'm getting hydrated. All right, once again, Moolah R41 Feather Blade. I think this is my third use of this one, I believe. Line up the sideburn, get the angle that you want, and add the angle to your razor. Nice light pressure. Maybe the fourth use on this feather. Got just a, a little tug to it. Not much. But just to where it doesn't feel as sharp as it was. So no matter what number usage this is of this blade, it will be gone after this shave. Which is fine because I probably have enough blades to last me for, you know, the next, I don't know, two, three hundred years. Hopefully my boys will get into wet shaving when they get much older. And... Maybe they'll be able to use some of my stuff. Maybe have them think of me when I'm long gone. Boy, that's morbid. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I apologize for not sticking to the uh, the nice light and fresh. But as Rick Bobby said, with advances in modern science, it's not crazy to think I'll live to 225, 235 years old. Or something like that. For any of you Will Ferrell fans out there. razor still just amazes me every time I use it no matter what the length of the of the whiskers are that I'm taking off it always feels so much smoother than I expect after the first pass I don't know why I haven't adapted to that feel but still just amazes me such a wonderfully efficient razor This is one of those razors, in my experience, that you have to be, you know, 
you have to make sure that you're using a really light touch. Beautiful scent on this soap. Don't know why this one wasn't such a great seller for them. I love it. I think it's wonderful. I've got a little spot right there that I caught. Anyone buying any shave gear out there? Is there anyone out there that's ever not buying shave gear? That may be a better question. I'm trying to be good right now. I'm trying to kind of curtail my spending. If anyone out there has something coming out that they'd like me to try, I'm certainly glad to do that. Helps me show you guys new stuff without going bankrupt. <laughs> I think we all know it's very easy to spend more money than you intend on shaving gear. Always looking for the latest and greatest. The shave is still really smooth, but I can already feel that there's going to be a little bit of irritation, um, and I think it, I think I just used this one too many times. I, you know, I typically go three times with a blade and I chuck it, um, but I was kind of sporadic in using this, um, so I, I don't know exactly how many times it was, and I don't mark the paper or anything to let myself know, because I usually just go right through a blade. But this time, I've find I've been using a. Voshkod blade More and more I really like it. Um, I mean with this razor It's you know, it's really efficient. So I really like to go with a super sharp blade in there um, And a Voshkod I wouldn't consider a super sharp blade, but um, you know between smoothness um, and efficiency smoothness and sharpness if you want to call it that um, It really is nice my uh, Persona Lab Blue was my go-to in that arena, but I'm really liking the Voshkod. If you guys haven't tried one, I would certainly encourage you to try it out. Get a sample blade pack or whatever. It's really nice. Yeah, I can feel just a little pull um, and going across my face, and I think that's going to be just enough to give me some irritation. Many of you know I have fairly sensitive skin. And that little pull doesn't really feel like much. Um, but, you know, after you go after, 
after you go over your face a few times. All it takes is a little bit to kind of mar your shave. Still great shave, but just that little bit of irritation. Oh well, I'll live. Really nice, and I could stop, but I'm not. Really beautiful soap. No trouble lathering it with this Samogue Owners Club. Really nice brush, just takes a while to break in. Seems like when you first get it, it likes to tend to hold the lather. Um, but the more you break that knot in, uh, the better it does with it. In my experience, anyway. I mean, this is the only Samoog brush uh, that I have. But that's been my experience. All right, against the grain. We'll be super light. Especially since I know I'm going to have a little irritation anyway. I don't want to exacerbate that. I still want my baby butt smooth shave. It's my day off. I deserve it. Got a few spots in there. Super, super light pressure around the nose. Got this little scar right here from a dog bite and where it was sutured up it's the hair kind of grows weird in there so I have to hit it from a lot of angles nice see if I missed anything Just gonna get a couple spots on my neck and we'll call it good. I know I probably shouldn't do this since I've already got some spots there, but whatever.
All right, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. All right, let's get rinsed off here. Hit it with some alum. I'm sure I'm going to get some feedback here. Yep, plenty. Yep, my neck's pretty angry. I'm going to hit it with cold water and alum. Try to close those pores down. Clean out my brush while the alum sits. Usually leave it on about, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds. Some people leave it on, it makes my face super, super, super tight. So I don't leave it on. Some people just use it as an aftershave. I use it to seal up my pores, but Makes me feel like I got a facelift. Makes me feel like, <laughs> so I have to take it off. All right, let's get this alum off. Okay, Agua de Limon, beautiful sweet lemon scent. Mm. Beautiful scent, beautiful cool burn. Definitely will be finishing with some aftershave balm today. Gonna need all the protection I can get. Yeah, so, so light and soothing. Very inexpensive and does a great job. And finishing with Loam by Yves Saint Laurent, decant from the Fragrance Decant Boutique. Mm, it's so fresh. Mm, it's got this. It's got this kind of um, cardamom note in there as well, like La Nuit de Lome. De Lome. Um, certainly not as pronounced as that one, but I still get that. I still get that familiar DNA um, uh, from this and La Nuit de Lome. Really, really nice. Um, does not cost very much either. I think um, YSL Lome. I think the 1.7. Um, 
1.7 ounce is like 60 70 dollars something like that so um you know quite affordable for a nice complex scent like that thank you guys for joining me i hope um i hope all of you stay well out there and i'll catch you on the next shave